Promises and Positions from God. Ephesians chapter 1. Who are we and who and what do we have through God and through his son Jesus Christ? This chapter, I pray that as I present this to you and read it, that it will invigorate you, it will excite you, it will remind you of who you are as a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. So this is Paul in Ephesians 1. I'll start at the verse 3. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love, he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will. To the praise of his glorious grace, which he has freely given us in the one he loves. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace that he has lavished on us. With all wisdom and understanding, he made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in Christ to be put into effect when the times reach their fulfillment, to bring unity to all things in heaven and on earth under Christ. And reading on to verse 11, in him we were also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will, in order that we who were the first to put our hope in Christ might be for the praise of his glory. And you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of our salvation. When you believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of his glory. So I read all that and what I invite you to do is to take each line and go over that and see how God the Father orchestrated through his son and what his son did in order to bring us back to the Father. What a plan. So I pray today that through reading this, and please read this, read it again, because this is the promises and this is uh, the plan that God has laid out for us in Christ Jesus. God bless you.